It's always getting top five feet made. I think you did get seventh losing to Mars Three, and two, one of the major, but still. One, top eighting up is doing very, very well. Now, this is going to be a very interesting matchup between Zelda and Game Watch, huh? Yeah. Does uh, Bucketing the, 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 the Knight actually do anything? Does it actually reflect it or something? I'm not sure. I, I don't know if it buckets or if it reflects, but I sure will find out during the set. Oh my god, reflecting the up air. That was nice. That's the one thing I wish every character could do against Game Watch is reflect his up air, because that move is oppressive. <laughs> but getting out for that deep end wow. start, the show is not making it back. Yeah, I'm going to have to be way more careful about the way that they recover. You it does reflect, reflect the knight. it! Oh no, this match is oh. awful. Wait, but can they just neutral B it and reflect it back? They could. Oh, it's going to become a game of chicken then, yeah. I'm pretty sure Zelda's uh, neutral B reflector is stronger than Game & Watch's. Yeah, I mean, Game & Watch is also just like, isn't spammable. Wow, but... catching Michael with a really sus the eye. And the one thing that, like, the show does that I don't see a lot of other Zeldas do, is he uses the camera of the game and hides the knight off camera while he goes in. I didn't you know that he was doing ready. that. And that's how he's able to get that sock, but I just couldn't see the knight coming, see? Huh. I, I, I'm gonna have to take a note about that because I didn't. Oh my goodness, trying to catch with the up air. Yeah. Oh, I hate it. Yeah, your shield is easily the most creative Zelda player I've ever seen. Like, between when I played him and seeing him on stream a couple times tonight, just does a lot of things I'm not used to seeing from Zelda players. Reflected, reflected. So, really baiting out the. trying to, like, reflect the reflection and then just getting out of there as quickly as possible. I'm actually coming up with some interesting stuff to counteract the Zelda. Yeah, and your show is hanging in there. Like, one night kill will do Game & Watch in at the ledge. Yeah, this matchup, I thought it would be rough for Zelda, but she's actually doing a really good job of really holding Game Watch at bay. Oh, the up B, though, being, the invincibility being able to go through the entire night. Yeah, I start landing with that key. Not in, in a couple weeks, that won't be the only key in this game because we'll still have the key blade. Kaba, Kaba, I'm gonna need you to get off commentary. See, I, <laughs> I had someone in a group chat say, "Who's gonna make that joke with Meister on screen?" And I was like, "I only have one set to do it." I had to force that one in there. Kaba, but, you're you're grounded. Sorry, but you know what else is grounded? That key into the ground after taking out Zelda, scoring off the top. Yeah, but your shield doesn't have too much to make up here. Anything Zelda does at this point will take the stock. Interesting up smash, but... Very surprised that Knight did not catch at the ledge right there. Even the sword was angled down to swipe at ledge, it looked like. Reflecting the reflected up air, what is happening? Yeah, this this matchup's kind of hilarious. Like, lot, these characters just have a lot of tools that they can just, like, use back and forth. Oh, wow, the Knight looking out for Zelda and destroying the bomb just before it reached her shield. And this game was really close up until Meister took that last stock, and now... Oh, oh my goodness! The... Oh, oh my gosh! The teleport canceled into the spike, into the respawn, into, hey, roll into my up smash! That's one of those situations where you're like, yeah, I made a really cool play, I got that spike, and then you just... They get the respawn, and they're like, ah, oh, crap. Like, that's yeah. the one of the hardest parts of this game is... I just took a stock. I'm at kill percent. How do I avoid dying right now when they respawn with all that invincibility? Yeah. On top of that, maybe they were just feeling that rush. You know, like they're fighting Meister. Got an amazing dunk. They're like, oh my god, I can do this. I can do this. And they start feeling themselves. And I'm just going to stand here and I'll smash. You know, you like, yeah. you got to be able to hold yourself back. Yeah. But it's so hard when you're fighting somebody who's so confident with, with Game Watch, you know? Yeah. But still, like, considering the Shield's playing a top 10 player in the world, he hung in there in that first game. Like, oh, yeah. Especially with a character, oh my goodness, so especially fun. with a character like Zelda. Yeah. And you can make any character in, in this game work, man. And so far in this game one, Meister getting off to a good start. In the grab. In that edge guard, not quite. But I saw B to make sure that it covers uh, any edge guarding. Oh, yeah. That shield looking very small right now. Yeah. My shield's just looking more and more comfortable as this set goes on. Getting a feel for just how to zone break this Zelda. 
The shield just hasn't been able to get a lot of phantoms going. Oh! And there he goes into the blast zone on that SD. A uh, small SD, but not too bad. He was already at high percent. Right, but... It won't matter too much. He can definitely make this back. Right, but it was like how hard it's been for him to seal these stocks on Meister. Like, you can't afford to take your own. And Meister is trying to bait out those neutral Bs. No longer juggling with the up airs, just opting to chase on the way down. Now also baiting out the up, the aggressive up Bs to try and catch. Oh my goodness. Oh my another goodness. Another reflector. And the show what a is wild match. Now. That dash attack almost killed. It's the two the frame, trade? and there goes both of them. I don't think it was a two frame. I think they held it so that way they could, like, Oh, you're right. Yeah, it might, he probably held up. And not working out for him. That's not a stock spread you want at this point. Oh, absolutely not. Especially with this amazing lead that they're now catching. Yeah, this is uh, this is rough for you, Shield. Yeah, Meister just fully adapting to the matchup. That was may so not have played it very much before this. That was the cutest thing to see the up cancel into in front of the shield and then just a simple jab yep. and then run away. That was yeah. the cutest yeah. thing. Yeah. The shield's probably going to have to figure out how to box with Meister without having the Naya here. Meister just playing around it really well, either playing across the stage or stuffing out your shield before the Phantom can come out. Yeah, yeah you're seeing like how he's just standing half, like he's trying all the way across the stage where the Knight's not even a factor. He knows the show has to approach. He's down by a mile. Yeah, like we were having, we were seeing this. This, this was a big issue for the PT earlier, but now with that same stage for Game and Watch, it doesn't even matter. Just because of that reflector, the amazing up he had a shield whenever. Oh That's my insane. goodness! Man, I just realized that Meister said he plays. Oh no! Oh, well, that's the a forward. Forward. Wow, good games I, to them. I just realized that Meister plays Fun Bob in Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl, and he doesn't play Aang. He doesn't go into the Avatar stage. Are you kidding? Hey, Meister! Why don't you play Aang in All-Star Brawl? You can literally go into the Avatar stage. Why don't you play Aang in All-Star Brawl? You can literally go into the Avatar stage. Because Avatar stage sucks. In it, does su Avatar it does stage suck sucks. in that game. Yeah. <laughs> it sucks in that game a lot. Oh my 